Okay, so we're going to start looking at attaching our ailerons. Um, we're going to do that before we put it into the plane. And the way that we've set it up is that there's this extra 6mm step down here. So it shouldn't be too hard to bring the whole wing in um, fully assembled and, and then put the body in as well. So it's easy to have the wing on a flat surface when we want to start sticking it up. And it might be a good idea to grab a friend to help you do this bit. Um, we're going to put a bit of sticky tape all the way along this this seam, this joint, uh, and we can take out our little tacks uh, because it shouldn't be too hard to, to do with two people. Uh, we need to do one on the top, then we're going to turn it over and have a look at the one on the bottom. So we'll leave it so there's about a one mil gap down in between there, so it's not, not uh, clashing with the foam and we need to pull out a bit of sticky tape the length of that and we can cut the uh, length back with the knife afterwards so if you go a bit over and cut it back that's probably best you want to try and avoid using your um, fingers where possible so try not to touch the sticky tape before and we're just going to go half um, sticky tape on either side of the joint for this one And then once you've got it down, we want to rub it in uh, just so that it doesn't move around. And I sort of find the back of my nail um, sort of joins it onto the Depron quite well. Or a pen or a ruler, um, any of them, just to rub it into the foam so it's not just sitting on top. Right, with that done, we can just trim the sides down. Now we've got a nice joint along there. Now, that's not going to be strong enough by itself. What we need to do is we need to put a bit of sticky tape on the back side as well. Uh, and the way that I'm going to do that is just to fold it over I'm going to lay our first piece of sticky tape, not this one, but a new piece, on the bottom edge and we're going to roll it around and then I think we'll lay our second piece of sticky tape on the top edge. We could fold it over even and we're going to lay it along this edge and then roll that around that side just to hold it on nice and strong. So I'll take those two test pieces off. Okay, so now I've got both sides of that joint done, but it's only on this back edge. So what I would like to do is just put a piece along that top edge and fold that over maybe. Um, that'll give it a bit of extra support. So I might put it down like this. And we'll get a bit of tape long enough to go all the way along. And really carefully put that along that top edge so it's overlapping the last piece of sticky tape by six millimeters. That's the thickness of the Depron. And push it onto that edge and then the same thing, we're folding it along. And we're only going along a straight edge so we shouldn't be dealing with any curves or anything like that. One other on at a time. Okay, so we've got that aileron attached now, uh, bends all the way up and about 45 degrees down 
uh, we've got the one piece of sticky tape along the top and then we've got two along the bottom one from this point here down to this point here and the second starting in the corner on the seam and rolling over to the front um, and we want to rub those both in and you'll find that the aileron has a tendency to want to lift up just because of how the sticky tape's having to bend. So you find that it will look like that. That's not gonna be a problem because our servo is gonna hold that down without any issues. Okay, once we've got the uh, ailerons attached to the wing, so you can see that I've got um, my ailerons fixed nicely there. We've got movement up and down, they feel solid. They do pop up a little bit, but again, that servo arm is going to be able to hold that down without any problems. Um, we need to put a carbon rod in the back of this so that it stops it flexing. Uh, at the moment, when it's flying, the wing would probably flex like this and possibly um, be at greater risk of snapping. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a carbon rod in the back of it and we're going to try and do that about a third uh, into the wing. Taking in mind that we've got those two servos that need to go in the two holes, so it's going to sit across the front and it needs to be a straight line across the front of these two servos. And we're going to sort of dig a bit of a, uh, a channel for it with the knife and um, then glue and stick that in. So to start with, we're gonna put a carbon rod in the wing and that's gonna be 650 millimeters long and the spare is gonna go into the elevator to give that some uh, structure as well. So to start with, I'll measure up here on the ruler, 650 and I'm going to cut that just with some pliers. So we'll leave our other piece there for a second, take our ruler out of the way, and with a pen, we'll just mark out approximately where we're going to go. We don't really need the cutting mat for this part because we're actually only going to cut in about two millimetres um, rather than go to a full depth. Okay, so uh, we've got our ruler. Our wing's about 770 millimetres long um, and the carbon rod being 650, we're going to come in about 60 millimetres each side. So I'll just mark that off with a pen and notice that I'm just in front of these two uh, servo holes, trying to be as straight as I can along the wing. And what we try and do is put this in the front third, um, and the front third of the wing should be its center of gravity, uh, hopefully when we finish. So we should be able to pick it up on the carbon rod, and the nose and tail should balance fairly evenly um, around that front third. So I've just marked out either side of this rod, with my pen and with my steel rule I'm going to make sure that I've only got uh, a little bit of, of the blade exposed um, so when I cut down I can not, not cut all the way through so depending on the angle that I'm, I'm using I won't be cutting all the way through and with my ruler up on this edge and just might need a second pair of hands to come in and uh, help out to hold the ruler. And because we're not using a safety rule, we just need to be a little bit more careful with, the, um, with fingers. And so, by adjusting the, um, the angle that I've got, 
If I go to about 45 degrees, hopefully we're going to get about a, a two or three mil depth. So the, um, it wouldn't matter if it was about three millimeters or about one and a half, the depth of this blade. Okay, we've got a nice, neat line there. We're going to move the ruler across. Um, this this um, carbon rod is two millimeters, so we need it to fit inside that. I think we're going to go about two and a half or about three millimeters across. And I've just guessed, but if you want to mark it out, then that's fine. And uh, so this this line for the second one, rather than go straight down, I'm going to try and cut in across it a little bit, so there's a bit of a wedge shape come out, so it can uh, hopefully house the. Uh, carbon rod, so we'll give that a go. And with your knife, hopefully we can just pick out. Perfect. Pick out that depth rod. And we can get our carbon rod and that fits nice and snug in there. Really happy with how that's come up. And uh, if you want to, we can put just a little bit of hot glue up in the ends to hold it in from the bottom and then we'll put uh, some sticky tape over the end of it. So just a tiny bit of hot glue. I'll get my hot glue gun. a bit in the end, maybe a little touch in the middle. I don't think it would be unnecessary to go all the way along and be adding to the weight. So just three bits of hot glue along there. Okay, with that glue dry, I'm just going to get a bit of sticky tape and put it along the end. And we can go just over the end so it's uh, firmly firmly. So there we have it, our uh, wing with a bit more structure in it, so it's less likely to bend and less likely to break. Now, we need to do the same with the elevator, 